Yeah, it's more imaginative despite this is getting to be a habit. Um, more Arduino. Oh, it's getting to be more of a habit. Oh, we've got something exciting to ha happening now. Did you notice the deliberate mistake in the last video? Notice the number on this one. Okay, we've been playing around. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, the oscilloscope's kind of died for a while until Sergey gets back to me and tells me how to make it work. Um, we've played with one or two things, and I've been playing with IR remote controls. Oh, I said I probably would. There it is. And uh, I've got it to work. Oh, it's really quite fun. So we'll have a closer look, shall we? And then we'll have a look at the code. And there it is. That's the Arduino, just in case anyone's just joined in for the first time and doesn't know what one is. It's a tiny little thing that sat there, about the size of a credit card, microprocessor, controller thing. Breadboard, yeah, you've all seen those before. That's the IR detector, and we have four LEDs. And if I press button one on this, hey look, number one lights up. If I press number two, Oh, the green one lights up. Yeah, press number. Yeah, the blue one lights up. That's a bit overexposed, coming up purple. And number four. Oh, the little red one lights up. And then press number one again. It'll go out. Two will go out. I'll do the other two the other way around just to prove. That's four. And that's three. Isn't that cool? I wonder what else we get this to play with a um, yeah, with shift register. Well, maybe one day so yeah i can turn them on and off in virtually any order this is pressing one that doesn't work um mm. okay let's look at the code all this code all this rubbish that i keep playing with it's all in the public domain it's all easily available on the interweb and it's free is that okay what have we got here then? Well, we've got that in the background, which we don't really need. Uh, well, that which we don't really need. There we go. The code is all in this block here in the Arduino, whatever it's called, program thing. That you write your sketches. They're called sketches, all these blocks of code. Uh, this is the serial port monitor. Hey, what we'll do, we'll make that one big for now. It's all over one side. Eat them in view. That's not very exciting, so we'll, um, we'll, we'll do that. We can then watch that one at the same time. Move this to the middle. I'll we'll start at the top where it says include uh, less than sign rremote.h. Right, that. that means include the library. There's loads of libraries within the Arduino program. Uh, and this library is here. This library, uh, you can either download it for free or it's already included. I can't remember which, actually. Uh, and include means to include that library so that uh, it, the Arduino knows that there's an infrared receiver there and it, it, it's got to do things with it. Define first key. Exactly what it says. First key. It's key number one. Define. Okay, and it defines with that number. That's the code that is sent by key one. I've got to hold this right over here because uh, otherwise it'll be out of focus. I can't see the monitor, so I don't know. You can even see what, what am I doing? Oh, look at that. That's interesting. It's black. Oh, of course it would be, wouldn't it? Okay, you can't see that. But it's key number one is defined as 12495, isn't it? Yeah. That's the code that is sent by the remote when you press that key. And define second key. It's the same thing. Key number the key with a two on it uh, sends that signal. You could, I suppose, write whatever you want here. Because you're defining this bit as this. So you could write, I don't know, wobbly bottom or something there and define it as that and providing you press that key, I don't really care what it's called, it sends that code. Uh, and then we've got int 
which means integer, receiver pin equals four. That is where the code is going. That's the output from the infrared sensor goes to pin four. If you don't happen to know what the codes are, I'm just going to reset this. Did that reset? Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping it would get rid of all this stuff. Uh, if you don't know what the codes are, you can pick up your thing, uh, open the serial port monitor. In fact, we'll close it and open it again. Uh, tools, serial monitor, there we go, it's empty as well, okay. Don't know what number, what's, what key one sends, press it. And that's the code it sends, and if we press channel plus, we'll try again, it's sending two, right, come on. It's sending this one. This repeated number here is the code to say that you've repeated. It's, it's a duplicate press. So we'll just try to get it to come up with just a single. It, it there we go. 57885, is that? Something better ask I can tell me. That was the channel button, I think. Um, number two button sends that code. Number three button sends that code. Oh, it's also turning things on. What about that? Uh, just turn them off and uh, so you can get the codes that's the only use of the serial port also proves that it's receiving we define this lot and we tell it which we're right first lead pin equals in this case seven so that's the pin we're going to associate with that and we're going to call it first lead pin and it equals seven Second lead pin 8, third lead pin 9, fourth lead pin 10. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but if you don't put in the five zeros, because it starts counting from zero, so it, uh, rather than from one, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, infrared receive, receive. Is it a receiver? Okay, receiver. Receiver pin. Receiver pin. Receiver pin. That means send to pin four. Decode results output. That's what you're sending out. Okay, there's a setup here. Let's get the serial port to work. Serial begin. That's the board rate. Make sure that this is also set to the same board rate, because if you don't, and we won't, just for a laugh, we'll set it to something ludicrous. And when you press the button, you get all sorts of gobbledygook all over the place. Jeez. Trying to turn the LEDs off now. There we go. Uh, so it does need to be sent to set to the, the same board rate. I think that was the same board, right? Yeah, there we go. Receiver enable. Enable infrared in. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that means. I'm guessing it's telling it to, to turn on the receiver, basically, uh, and use it as an input. Uh, then we've got the pin modes. So let's remember the first lead pin that was uh, actually assigned to pin 7. Pin mode, what's it going to do? It's going to be an output. We've done all that. Void loop, if, here we go. If the receiver decode out and output, yeah, okay, I'm not entirely sure why it's phrased like that. I just said basically if it said, you know, if pin 1 is. Um, I have no idea what that is. Value, it was output dot value. Uh, I'd, somebody might be able to explain that because I don't. Switch value, that means 
switch. I don't know. Um, case. First key. So we're going to look at just the first key. If let one double equal signs means is equal to doesn't mean it doesn't mean let one is equal to it means compare led one with this value if you like you know symbolic logic i would probably put down if and only if led one equals one or yeah means that if it doesn't do something else this is basically what that's saying digital write so it's now saying write you know send something out digitally first led pin low that means off because it means it's, it's either sending out five volt or zero it'll send out zero um i don't know why that's there else in other words if this is not the case write first pin high and then it's got this on here i don't quite know what that does not sure quite when we get a break and then we have another case second key and we go through all the keys writing the same thing this is it's actually quite a simple bit of code if we didn't have the if there well no we need the if don't we what it's saying is if it's on turn it off if that's not the case if it isn't on turn it on for each signal from that key a does that for the four pins and then just at the bottom we've got serial print line value so the serial prints whatever value we've sent and the receiver then resumes i mean that means start over again there's a lot of wording in here that i don't know why it's there uh i don't know what it does and i can't find out because as i keep saying this is the world of secrets this is the i've got to be careful what i say on youtube haven't i i can't demonetize me because they've already done that um yeah okay what can we say um it's kind of a secret society this and uh, you know a bit like yeah i'm gonna say a bit like the freemasons or the stone cutters if you're into the simpsons they don't tell you the secrets which is really annoying you're expected to know these things i can speak a fairly weird language i'm going to try purely as an experiment and if we get something happen that's exciting I'm going to change that to one and I'm going to re-upload it and see if it actually does anything. So we've now changed that to one. We're now going to send that to the Arduino and he goes gobble, 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 ping. Can you go flashity flash? Not yet. Has now. Um, which one was our, was which value? First key. Okay. I don't know which key to press. When it comes on, only does it once though. I'll reset it and point this down there. So I've changed that zero to one. Press pin, press button one. Yeah, he comes on. So that made a difference. And it goes off. And it stays off. Whereas two, which we didn't change. Quite happily keeps flashing on and off, as does three, as does four. Wow, okay, I think. Change that back. Reach in front of the camera. Upload. And it works normally. That'll do for now, because that's quite a lot. There's a lot to edit, and it's a lot for me to get confused about. 
I wish someone would explain why all this works in simple language for people who are complete, utter and total newbies who have absolutely no idea why this way. You can't just give it a fancy name and say, oh, it does that because it's the what's it that does, uh, you know, something clever sounding. That means nothing. It has to be in plain English. I certainly done that much around here. You can do it in plain another language if you like, so long as we can get it translated, but it must be something that a four-year-old can understand. Or an 84-year-old. Think, you know, technology old people. I'm going to make these flash by constantly doing that or oh, doing them in different order. That one doesn't work. Yay! And uh, we'll see what mistakes I've made in this one when I title it. I'll see you all again soon.